How to cancel Netflix auto payment. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimu from App Guide, and in today's guide video, I'm about to simply show you how you could very easily actually cancel the auto payment on Netflix. But before we get started with this video, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and without any further ado, let us get started with today's video. So the very first thing what happens is that let's say that you have a subscription on Netflix and what happens is that after every month your balance get deducted automatically from your payment method which you have added you want to stop that you want to cancel that setting and you have come to the right video the first thing I will do is I will not actually log in from the app I will actually go ahead and open my browser so you should do the same as well and basically in the search box you have to simply type in netflix.com go ahead and simply type in netflix.com and then hit search and other thing you want to make sure is that you're basically logged into your account go ahead and actually log into your account and select your profile and open the Netflix interface as this one after you open Netflix you can see this is how the interface is actually going to look like what you want to do is on the very top left hand side of the screen you can see the three horizontal lines icon all you have to do is simply tap on the three horizontal lines which you see as you tap on three horizontal lines at the very top you have this option which says account and what you have to do is actually simply select the option which says account as you tap on account you'll basically be taken to your account page where you have all of your details now let me tell you something what you want to understand is that there isn't a definitive way on Netflix or a definitive setting to actually cancel your auto payment on Netflix but basically you could actually do two things and that is that the very first thing you could do is you could actually change your billing day in order to stop getting yourself charged on that particular day or the other thing you could do is simply cancel your membership and until you actually resume it you won't be charged at all so let me just go with the first process of changing our billing day at the very th uh, this option under billing details you'll find this button which says change billing day all you have to do is simply select change billing day and currently you can see that our billing day is on the 26th of each month let's say that you want to change it you want you don't want to get charged on the 26th of each month and then you'll basically go ahead and simply select last day of the month right over here you want to go ahead and select any of the day on which you want to stop getting yourself charged and then tap on review and confirm what this basically does is that you will not get charged on that particular day on by turning off the auto payment setting the other thing you could do is you could actually come back and you could actually go ahead and simply cancel your membership so you can see this button which says cancel membership and what this usually does is that it will cancel a membership after this month and it will not charge you until the next month whenever you actually go ahead and resume your membership again you can see it says cancellation will be effective at the end of your current billing period which is the let's say 26th of august come back at any time if you restart within 10 months your profile favorites of your preferences and accounts will actually be waiting for you so what you could do is simply tap on finish cancellation and go ahead and actually resume a membership the next month and after this month ends you will not be charged at all it isn't going to delete your account or anything you could go ahead and simply resume a membership if you want to again and these are some of the definitive ways on how you could actually cancel your netflix auto payment we hope this video was really helpful and if it did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply make sure to leave them down in the comments section thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video